I say? Um, yeah, it didn't happen. <laughs> no. Why it didn't happen? Uh, the opportunity was not there for us for a blockbuster trade. I was quiet a little bit uh, today, but the trade deadline, you know, like is, is like this. Sometimes it's there's a lot of stuff, and sometimes there's um, sometimes there's nothing. That's how it goes. Uh, that was a little bit. I wish I could give you details, but. <laughs> Uh, how close were we? You know, um, the way I look at the deadline, um, it's it's really um, not a great place to make long-term decisions, and that's that's how um, one of the ways we looked at it um, in terms of some of the things we were getting. Uh, we'll try. I think we'll try. Um, I think um, growth is not linear, so we've had like really like a, a a bumpy road, and that's what you expect sometimes with a young team. And we have a young team, and I think players have made progress individually, but as a team, um, it it's been it's been up and down. And we had a really rough stretch, but uh, I believe in these guys. We believe in them, and we think growth sometimes takes a while. I think as a level of impatience now um, with how we think about things and do things. And um, hopefully we can have a little bit of patience, but everything that we could have done um, today maybe we can do in the summer why is the summer and the draft a better time for long term planning because i think at the end of the day uh, in the summer there's 29 losers and one winner so there's 29 teams looking to do more We study the draft a lot, uh, so we study the years in the draft. Um, uh, that's one. Uh, secondly, um, I think it's something we've lacked on our team. Uh, to be fair, on this team, I think um, I hadn't done my part, maybe, for this team uh, to uh, maybe you know play a little bit better. I think we needed um, a big like Yak, uh, protect the rim. Uh, these guys uh, have confidence in a really good passer, uh, a big body, um, one of our own, um, which I think um, uh, I think really uh, really fits. So um, yeah, we we we. I think I look at it that we needed to um, at least give them some some chance um, with a big rim protector uh, there and see what this team does. How much did the familiarity, as you mentioned, and the history with Jakob sort of factor into targeting him and bringing him back? We know him as a player. We know him as a person. Um, I think there's a fit here. I think. Um, sometimes we've played, um, sometimes we've played a little selfish. Sometimes we've played, um, a little, um, hey, he, he's going to pass the ball a little bit better. 
um, uh, for us. So knowing him, knowing his style of play, um, but just knowing the guy, you know, I think already brings a little bit of spirit for us and guys see that. When you spoke after the Tampa season, you were pretty clear that the playing range is not somewhere that you want it to be. That's where you guys are in the standings right now. Not to say that there isn't enough time to get out of that spot, but if that's where you end up somewhere in that range, has your opinion on that changed? And if so, why? <laughs> Uh, the play, the 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 playing at that time was the playing, and uh, this time I'll make my comments on the playing if we are in the playing or at the end of the season. Uh, but for that time, that was the situation we were in, and I didn't see, you know, um, I, I I didn't see why we should, you know, like strive for that with that tough situation in in Tampa at all. You said you still believe. I believe in the players, I believe in the coaching, I believe in the organization, I believe in them individually, I believe in their talent. Um, I think there are times in the season when um, we got a little bit too indiv individual. I think uh, there are times in the uh, season when um, we went away from it. I, thought, I don't know that there was as much um, focus I'm hoping it comes down, but uh, it comes uh, back. Uh, but and it, it seems like it has started to a little bit. But um, again, I say um, growth is not linear, and we it's going to be up and down with like young teams, young players. You've seen Scotty, you've seen Precious, you've seen uh, OG, Fred, Pascal. Sometimes up and down, we. Um, Gary, we we have to, I think, make that assessment at the end of the season. You have, with Turtle, you have three guys who came or will be unrestricted free agents mm. and however much money before you get into the pack. Are you committed to trying to keep all three? Yeah, we, we're, we're always focused in trying to retain our players. Um, that's, that's always the focus um, for us. Um, and we'll focus. We'll be focused on that with with these guys and see how we perform um, the rest of the season and make that assessment. Do you feel like maybe you've taken a bit of a risk in that? If, even if they don't perform, and play in a position where you have to um, sign guys to contracts and so forth, that you're looking for off a season that hasn't maybe met expectations. Yeah, we've, everybody asked those questions with many guys that we've had before. You say we lose them for nothing, you know, like, but what does that mean? You know, I, I don't know what that means. We make an assessment of all these players, and now when I look at uh, what could have, uh, what we could have had now, um, is it the same thing that we would get at the end of the season if we went into different situations, sign and trades, or whatever, however it is, you know, um, cap space, anyhow you want to look at it, you know, like, um, I feel we'll be fine. Why do you, you said the team has maybe lost its focus at times this year. Hmm. Why do you think that is as somebody who's looking big picture from above? Um, yeah, it's a good question. Uh, sometimes I think, um, like I said before, I think we went a little bit uh, to individual. Um, we're f uh, sometimes focused on that. Um, the ups and downs of a season. I think young players trying to come together. I think um, success that came very fast. Uh, it seems like at the end of last year, maybe we, uh, the expectations were, um, we, <laughs> jumped it a little bit, you know, um, those things happen. Um, just like it's dialed back to now a little bit. So, um, yeah, there, there's so many things I think um, 
And that's one of the things I have to look at when we look at uh, the team with Bobby and everybody else. Um, one thing to pinpoint here, but there was a lot of things, you know. You point out we don't have a big. Do you point out there's a little bit of selfishness in our, all our players, you know. Like, do you point out, man, we've had some, you know, like really tough losses. You know, luck sometimes, you know. Um, we had some good luck last year, you know, like you can call it that too at that point, you know. Like, and then now, um, a couple of heartbreakers, he little blow. Um, funny losses here and there that could take you, you know, like uh, an inch up. So um, we hope, we hope, you know, like they can start to get together, you know. But it's a young group, and in sports, I understand what you guys do. I understand fans, um, the patience. I know it's not as much as before because it's now, now, now. Um, but. Uh, from my position, I have to look at like what we're doing uh, on the overall. Years ago, you called it maybe a culture reset. I was heading into a new season, so now that we're at this point, what's going on right now? Do you think it's going to be a culture? Uh, you know, honestly, Kayla, I'm going to name it at the end of the season. Yeah, and I still have some time to like assess this, but trust me, there'll be a name. You know, <laughs> yeah, there will be. Um, because, yeah, these guys know. I've talked to all of them. I've talked to all of them individually. I've talked to coach. Yeah, it's yeah, like it's a no nonsense approach now. Like we have to go into now, yeah, and see um, at what level we can get to. Because we see these guys individually. Yeah, as a. a there's a reason why everybody was calling us or everybody's writing about every single player individually. You know, like, then maybe I need to look at myself and say, okay, what the hell are you doing? You know, like, is this something I'm doing wrong? Um, I know we have to look at fit sometimes, but I think generally, if I'm looking at fit with this team, I have to give it till the end of the season to look at that. Especially if there's nothing that comes at me that says, hey, you know, like, <laughs> this is something compelling and you got to do this, you know, like to, to move this thing forward now and for the future of the Toronto Raptors. Talk about uh, a more business-like approach, more workman-like approach. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that's good? I think we have a lot of, like, young players. You know, like when you think of our team, you know, like in general, like so um, uh, that's one, you know, and I think um, sometimes success a little bit too quick. And I can't even call like what we had like success when I got first round of playoffs, we got our butts kicked, you know, like, but, you know, we didn't expect to be there uh, in some kind of way. Um, so. We're coming to this season and uh, we went, came in tough and we, uh, we had, all of us were very confident and yeah, sometimes that's what, you know, we lose a couple here and it does that to you, you know, and honestly, I, I, if there's a way to like pinpoint, you know, um, players started slow, I'm not going to use like injuries, all those things, you know, like to make excuses because every team goes through them, but every team is affected in different ways. And uh, it's the first time I've seen our team really affected with so many things, you know, all at the same time. And, and um, hopefully, you know, like there's a different focus now um, on how we finish um, the season. Are you happy with the way that the coaching staff has Yes, I think Nick has done a, a great job, you know, and we've all acknowledged, you know, like that there are things that we all need to do better, you know. Um, we acknowledge that we needed to get like a big, you know, like to help the team because it was something that I wasn't or we weren't, you know, like able to do earlier just because of how things work here. But um, I think... The coaching staff adjust well, and hopefully uh, we all uh, continue to grow. But I think uh, Nick and his staff have done 
uh, a great job. Uh, now we just need to bring it together and tighten things up a little bit. I think the good thing about it is I think we have put ourselves in position to do any of those, you know, and, and if, if, if any of those uh, situations come about, you know, I think we'll be very, very ready, you know, like to, uh, uh, to attack anything that comes uh, in, in front of us. Um, we have good, young, talented players. Does it all fit together? You know, like we're hoping. Uh, does it amount to wins? Um, we're hoping, uh, but if it doesn't, I think we're in a great position to, I think, re-energize this team in whether it's a retool, rebuild, or any way you look at it. You mentioned earlier how in demand a lot of your guys were, and that's sort of what's been out there the last few weeks, is everyone's identified your team as being at the center of, of things today. Mm -hmm. Always a noisy time of the year. Were you surprised by how noisy things were in, in, as it pertains to your team and your players this year? Yeah, you shut off all that noise because you focus on your team, but obviously it's the trade deadline, so you hear things because you're talking to teams. Uh, my honest um, uh, assessment of it was um, we have some really good young players that many teams want, you know, and see you know, like the talent uh, on uh, on the team and these guys have. So um, that's a way of assessing, you know, um, and making some decisions or help um, make some decisions on um, what kind of value comes in or goes out with our team. And go ahead. Yeah, we study the prospects every year, you know, like we, we study the prospects coming out in 24, 25, 26, 27. You, you got to, you have to, um, you really have to be engaged uh, to know this, especially with team, a team like us that really grows our program through development. Uh, we want to win. Yeah, we want to go out and compete and win. Uh, so where where does it go? I, I don't know. You know how how far it goes. I wish I could tell you guys. You know, but um, we want to win. Uh, that's what we've said here from the beginning. Um, this is the first year outside of the year of Tampa. You know, like that. Uh, we've had really like bumpy times uh, here, but this is I think the most bumpy it's been. You know, for us, and we acknowledge that we know that, um, uh, and we hope to solve it. But I just want to caution everyone, you know, like that it's not going to be overnight. Uh, that's what happens with young players and young teams. You have to build, you know, like gradually, and um, hopefully uh, we get there. But in the short term, hopefully we make a good assessment at the end of the season. Um, well, in terms of the guys that have been here longer, you know, like they know a couple of them are Fred, Pascal, these guys have won championships, OG was here, you know, um, so um, they know, they, they understand, you know, what it takes, you know, like so sometimes um, they have been, you know, frustrated in, in, in some kind of way, but there's sometimes too, you know, like that they too have, you know, um, had to um, make adjustments in how they are playing or or even do better. You know, like Fred has said it, Pascal has said it, OG has said it. Sometimes they just need to do better, you know, like and um, they, are, they are good at holding themselves accountable um, and they are good with these conversations, these tough conversations I have with them. Uh, so we have to be better.
Yeah, we just have we we have to be better. Sports is about winning. Yeah, if you don't win, everybody is going to come and ask one million questions. Yeah, and that's that's what that's what it's about. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young your team is, or what. Sports is about winning, and and I think these guys know, and we've addressed it, and we'll continue to. And if it doesn't work out, I think Fred even said it in his last press conference. You know, like if it doesn't happen, then we have to make you know bigger decisions. Then it's on us. You know, uh, it's good. It's a good question. All I know is, you know, like we, there, there, there's some times that we were just, you know, we we needed that type of player, yeah, on this team. And um, I feel, we feel after our assessments that there would always be questions, you know, like with this team, um, if we had a big, if we had a big, you know, like us. We play all those six, eleven, six, nine, six, ten guys, you know, like, and they do an incredible job. I think um, Chris Boucher is playing well. Precious is playing well. These guys are trying, you know, like, um, but um, sometimes we need that lone rebound, you know, like that a big would get us, or that protection a big would get us. With Yak, even that passing, you know, that uh, he can get us. So I, I feel. Um, I feel that there will be a good, this will be a good period to assess that a little bit. Did he fly home or to San Antonio last night? Or was it like right now? You know, I got the most unbelievable text from Dan Tolzman this morning and he said, um, he, he told me he walked upstairs and Yak was having breakfast like <laughs> at OVO, like he never left, so. <laughs> So he was here having break. Yeah, he was here having breakfast when he came in for his medical. So. I think Precious is trying to like be a versatile player, you know, like, and this was asked um, of him now, um, but uh, I think he's going to grow as a player. I think you guys see his his growth, he's slowing down, you know, like in, um, uh, he's thinking the game so much better, um, I think, and that when you play the right way, coaches play you, you know, like he's, um, He's one of the guys on our team, uh, just like OG, uh, that can guard any position one to five, um, which is huge value uh, for us, uh, depending on uh, who we are playing in the NBA. And so, um, uh, Christian, you know, will, will play if it's 9 or 5, uh, he's playing or he's playing uh, backup minutes here. I think he'll continue to develop. You know, like and his development has been uh, gradual. We knew that, um, and, but this is what has presented itself now. But these guys who are just they're good players, so they'll adjust. Do you feel that what happened with Brooklyn over the last week defensively changed the trade market and from your perspective? You know, it's interesting you say that, uh, Eric. I couldn't tell, you know, um, because every day it was it was up and down, you know, and and. Um, yeah, all I know is uh, two incredible players went to the West Coast, or to the Western Conference, you know, and um, there's no how that that doesn't bode well for like teams in the East, like to lose those type those type players. Um, and uh, in terms of um, the trade market, you know, it's. Nobody is talking serious till like three o'clock, <laughs> till five minutes to three, and then we all have these baby toy guns that we come and we put. <laughs> yeah, it's this. It's... Um, 
Yeah, it does. You know, like Malachi, Delano, all these guys now playing, you know, like it, it does affect that. We've had those discussions with coach, you know, like and we're very, you know, transparent and open in, in with, with these things. It's not it's not that, you know, um, these these guys need to play, you know, like one way or the other, you know, and I think sometimes they can play, you know, like, but I think coach generally like makes um, um, good decisions for the team and um, he'll try his best all the time, you know, like to get uh, these guys a uh, time when uh, they can. Um, Sometimes it's positioning, sometimes it's time, it's time, you know, like I think everybody has been happy with Christian. He's got in minutes, he's a developing guy. He's got in minutes here and there. And then sometimes with Delano or Mal Malachi, it's been a little bit inconsistent. So hopefully it gets better. You mentioned, uh, I think, at the beginning of the year, you wanted to build a team full of OG and OBs and pressure for Troy. Um, and you guys were the six, nine team. Is this No, those guys, those seven foot guys, they classify to like among the like six nine guys. <laughs> they, they are in that category too. <laughs> when you look at the way the league is trending and three point shooting is becoming I think we need to be one of those top tier like three point shooting teams. We'll get there, whether it's by addition or these guys are getting better. It's patience. It's we're going to grow, you know, um with, with our team. But yeah, it's not I I plead it doesn't happen like overnight. Yeah. It was both. Yeah, it was both. There was an opportunity there, you know, like, and it was a, it's a big need uh, on, on our team. Uh, and, um, and Yak was, um, was the guy we identified. Um, um, the opportunity was there. With trades, you know, and this time of the year, it takes two, <laughs> you know, like two teams to, uh, to make a deal. They're not, there's one million of them we talk about, and then one gets done. You know, I wish it was as easy as sometimes you guys write or or think. You know, like, but it's not. It's it's also um, dealing with what one person wants and another person, you know, needs or wants, and putting it together sometimes is um, it doesn't come together. Uh, sometimes, good question. Sometimes is um, with how we've operated with development on our team. I think it has to come uh, a lot of times from inside, you know, and whether that inside provides um, the opportunity outside later on, I don't know. I know, like, but yeah, we have to rise here with uh, with development and our talent, and it it does it does take time. You've seen Scotty, you know, you've seen um, all these guys, you know, like reach levels, you know, and they, um, it's like this, you know, and um, we are hoping that it gets to a certain point, but I truly believe that um, it's going to be internally, it has to, it has to rise. And then when opportunity comes, you know, we, we, we put it together. We'll wrap up after two more questions. You can go ahead and take your mask. You can do 90 minutes, please. Please. 
Oh, yeah. so from an evaluation standpoint this year, has it been difficult for you and for Bobby to kind of balance not overreacting to things that happen on a game-to-game -game basis, but also making sure that you're not underreacting to some of the concerns? Yeah, just naturally, like, patience is our thing. And I know people don't like it as much sometimes, you know, like, but you, as a basketball person, you are going to be frustrated with what happens on the court every day. You know, that that's, that's, uh, that's a natural. That's, that's when, when you're not winning and um, we're not playing very well. There are many things that, you know, um, we're going to criticize or pinpoint. Um, that's just natural. But on the overall, you know, um, patience is just, um, I think, what we need a lot of times um, with this kind of young team and young players. Is there a risk to patience by, you know, waiting for the shooting to develop inside the team? Mm -hmm. There's an opportunity cost to not going out and getting a shooter from outside the team. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you might be missing opportunities by focusing on what can happen inside the team? Yeah, sometimes, but I think with time it, we, we, we are, we're going to look at our team, you know, like um, the microscope and we know, you know, like what some of that, we hope to know what some of that timing uh, is. Um, we just have to grow it to get to the point where we go get those pieces that make, you know, like sense on your team. If not, you can get a shooter that can't even get on the court. You know, like I'm playing with these guys, but he's a shooter. Uh, so we have to get it where, you know, like the balance is, is right. So um, hopefully we don't <laughs> extend it out too long if we're not seeing that development on our team. But at the end of the season, we'll address a lot of these things. Thanks very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Everybody.